what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i bring you this massive news update regarding new things coming and not coming to destiny 2 but hey if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really does help me and my channel out okay so the latest weekly update by bungie has not long dropped and if you do want to read through all you'll find it linked within the video description it sheds some light into the Christmas period of Destiny 2 and what we will be getting. So let's get into it. So they start off the post with info on the latest patch we received last week and they state, these are some of the first significant changes to the player experience that are based on your feedback. Iterating on Destiny has always been a process that involves you and that process will continue. We have more updates to Destiny 2 planned for the new year. Once January arrives, we'll talk about what we have planned for the next one, and then the one for after that. In the meantime, your voice is a welcome addition to this conversation. If you're talking about Destiny, we're listening. More importantly, we're adding features and content to the game. Bungie then going to state that next week they are launching a webcomic series, starting with an Osiris Ikora origin story, Fall of Osiris. Margaret Stuhl, Destiny 2 narrative director, who currently writes Marvel's The Mighty Captain Marvel, notes as follows, Destiny 2's first ever original comic short is written by Eisner winning New York Times bestselling writer Ryan North, in collaboration with our own super talented Destiny 2, Curse of Osiris narrative lead, Christine Thompson. With interior art by Destiny 2 community fan favourite Z Carlos, here's a peek at the cover by Marcio Takera. Osiris was once the champion of the last city, vanguard commander, seeker of secrets and discoverer of wonders, and then everything changed. How did Osiris go from hero to traitor? This is coming soon for free on Bungie.net, so yes that looks pretty cool people, I'm actually looking forward to it. They're then going to talk about the dawning, here is what they say. Happy dawning to all, it may be cold outside but there's a warmth in the air. As the year comes to an end, the tower and farm are decorated with festive cheer. It's a time to celebrate your light. Snowball fights, guardians aren't just arming themselves with weapons. There are snowball piles everywhere you look, in the tower and at the farm. You can tag your friends for bragging rights, in strikes you can blast an enemy with a snowball to stun them and deal big damage. Stay frosty out there. Mayhem in the cold. Keep your blood warm and your heart pumping in the crucible. Mayhem is back, so your abilities recharge faster. Point values are cranked up enough to melt the ice. It's anarchy and it's awesome. So that is something I am super looking forward to. I absolutely love the mayhem in Destiny 1. And it's going to be a great addition to Destiny 2, you mark my words. Milestones of winter. Engage in crucible mayhem or become legend in strikes and you'll be rewarded. Every week, complete a milestone for a dawning engram. Get in to give you mood with new consumables that give rewards to everyone you're playing with. If there's a specific dawning item that you have your heart set on, Tess will refresh her inventory each week, enabling you to use your Bright Dust Reserves for your holiday shopping. On one week or another during the three week event, you'll find every dawning themed exotic, ship, ghost, shader, emote, and every dawning themed legendary armor piece on her shelves. So that's going to be great. You can basically purchase all of Tess's exotics during the period of the dawning event. Gifting and receiving. Pick up a dawning gift schematic, venture to other worlds and craft unique gifts for the vendors and agents you'll find in the tower and beyond. Then give the lucky recipient their gift and receive a gift in return. You can participate in the season of giving every day of the event. The dawning begins on Tuesday, December 19th and ends on Tuesday, January 9th. So quite a long while for us to grind the dawning. They're then going to talk about adding without subtracting. Earlier this week we updated the same blog with some notes on how we intend to handle expansions differently going forward. You should read them. Again, like I said, it will be linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. Essentially, our goals are to continue adding new challenges to Destiny and to keep old challenges relevant without taking them away from anyone. It's a delicate balance and we intend to do a better job of striking it. In the most immediate version of the future, that means making changes to faction rallies in the Iron Banner so that they include everyone, no matter their level of investment in the new content. We'll talk to you more about that work when it gets done. These events will come back very soon and they will be available to all. Now I personally don't expect to see Faction Rallies or Iron Banner until the new year as they state this. 
To all a good night, this is the last weekly address on Bungie.net for 2017. The conversation about Destiny 2 won't stop, but a blog is being laid down for a long winter's nap. Communication will continue on our phones and social media, where it can happen faster and from anywhere our holiday travels take us. We'll be reading your feedback about the dawning, we'll be calling the shots for the live game, we'll be addressing issues if they arise, but Bungie are obviously going to take a Christmas break, and it's for this very reason I don't expect these events to come until next year. And guys that is basically it from this weekly update, so the dawning will arrive next Tuesday December 19th, and there will be a whole new set of loot for us to obtain. More info on that loot no doubt will come soon, when it does you guys will catch all the info you need to know right here on my channel. I'm a little disappointed we won't be getting faction rallies and iron banner anytime soon but hey it is what it is also I'm super excited to see mayhem back I mean it's a game mod I absolutely loved but yes guys that is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like it really does help me out thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one